boy Naughty and Sands here for another episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. I've been gone for a little bit because I've been moving in with my sexy ass girlfriend. And when you move in with your sexy ass girlfriend, you can't just move in. You have to like redecorate the entire apartment, apartment tour coming at you right now. Check it out. All right, this is where all the Learn How to Edit Stuff magic happens right here and right here in this Maxonomic Team Liquid Edition gaming chair. Mm. Over here, we have the master bedroom where all the magic happens. Sleeping. And we got a bathroom right here, bada boom, come through here. The guest room. It's a bed, it's a chair, it was expensive, but it's comfortable. Moving on to the guest bathroom. This is where our guests will take a shit. Moving out into the living room, we have this yarn macrame thing that Jillian made. We have the outdoor patio with AstroTurf that I installed myself, feel the grass between my toes while I look out at the beautiful view of this parking lot. Moving on, we have the living room with this nice giant sectional couch and the TV where I watch a lot of Bachelorette episodes. Here is the feature piece of the house. This amazing cow painting. And the breakfast nook where we eat breakfast and the kitchen where we prepare the breakfast that we eat. Right, babe? Say hi to my one fan. Hi. What are you doing? You just putting some tea away? Yeah. We got a lot of Organizing tea. Organizing our tea. Check out this baller ass coffee table. It's a square made out of other squares. I don't even know. This rug is hella comfortable. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the apartment tour. Now you know where I live. All right, you saw the apartment tour. You saw, I mean, I wish I could show you how much work we actually put into it. It's just been taking forever and I haven't had time to make any videos. And over the course of the last month, you've all been writing in and commenting on all my other videos, mostly saying, why don't you have 500,000 subscribers? I don't know, and that makes me feel like You guys have been asking me a lot of questions, a lot of really good questions. I promise I will answer them all in the coming videos. But today's lesson, we're gonna be creating and animating lower thirds in After Effects. Today, we're gonna show you how to make your own from scratch, so you don't have to download a template. You don't have to try to like find some crap you want online. You're going to make it yourself and you're going to feel damn good about it. All right, without further ado, we're jumping into it. Animating and creating your own lower thirds and after effects with Nadia and Sam and learn how to edit stuff. Smoke transition. Okay, first things first, we're going to open after effects and we're going to go to composition, new composition. I have it set to 1920 by 1080 at 23976 frames per second and 10 seconds. So that seems good. We're going to click OK. So layer, new, solid, I'm gonna create a white solid that's the same size as the frame. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a rectangle. All right, so I got my rectangle. Now what's really important is that you have to set the anchor point to be the middle of this rectangle. So if we do any rotations or anything, it's gonna come from the center of the shape and not somewhere else in the composition. So if I hit Y and click on the layer, you'll see the anchor point is set to here. And if you're working on a MacBook Pro like I am, you hit function, option, command, and left arrow. And as you see, it throws the anchor point right into the center of the shape that we created. And that's exactly what we want. So let's pull it down into the bottom left corner where our lower third is gonna be. Let's duplicate, actually, let's name this layer first. So we're gonna name it main name, because this is where the main name is gonna go. And then let's duplicate that layer and pull it down just below it, right about there. Reduce the mask over here to be a square. We're gonna hit Y. There's the anchor point. We're gonna hit function, option, command, left arrow. Puts it right in the center. And then this is going to be social icon. And then we are going to duplicate it one more time. We're gonna pull it out just about there. We're gonna resize the mask again to fit with what we have over here. And then we are going to name this social handle. All right, brilliant. Now it's time to add all of the information that we want to add. So I'm gonna click my text tool and I'm gonna write Ian Sansevera. I like to put two spaces in between the first and last name. I don't know why. That's just something that I like to do. We'll scale it up a little bit. Brilliant. All right, so now we gotta do the social handle. So if you go to Google and you type in any icon, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, it will come up with a list of icons. I decided to do Snapchat. I pulled this to my desktop. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to import this into After Effects, Snapchat icon. I'm gonna pull it right on top of the social icon button. And I'm gonna put it right there and scale it down just a touch. Cool, center it in the frame. And now I'm going to put my handle on Snapchat, which is at not Ian Sands. We're gonna scale it down just a little bit to fit in the box. So far, so good. So now I have my lower third 
designed, right? So if I go to fit to frame, when the lower third comes in, it's gonna look like that. So Ian Santavera, Snapchat, at not Ian Sands. This is all the information that I wanna provide in this lower third. Now it's time to animate it. Animation's fun, kids. So I'm thinking that this top box will come in from side frame, and then these other two boxes will drop down from underneath it, revealing the text, and then we can have it wrap back up and then shoot off of frame. You bring down the Snapchat logo on top of the social icon, you hit Shift Command C, and we'll go social icon. There you go. We'll drag the name on top of main name. Again, Shift Command C, and we'll do main name. And here we go, social handle. Brilliant. So the main name is gonna come in first. So I want this to be a five frame transition. So option P will set a position keyframe. And if you hold down Apple and the arrows, one, two, three, four, five, set the other keyframe. So that's how long the animation is gonna last. Let's go back to the first keyframe and let's just push this off of frame. Just like that. So now if I play that, it shoots in a frame. Whoop. So I'm gonna give it a three frame delay, one, two, three. And then I'm gonna set my position keyframes for these bottom two. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and set another position keyframe. So what I want to happen is I want these two to just come out from the bottom of that one. And because these are the exact same size, because we duplicated our layers, it should be very easy to go back to your first keyframe and just pull these up. Just like that. Now, what I like to do is on the start, I don't like to have any lag back here because obviously if this is animating, you see that it's still there. So what I'll do is I'll go to my first keyframe and if you hit option uh, left bracket on the keyboard, it will trim your layers to your keyframe wherever you have it set. So now this comes in and then that comes down. Looks pretty good. So now if you want this animation to be a little bit more fun, uh, you can come down in here, let's zoom in. And we'll know that after, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven keyframes, we want it to be here. So now let's go back to, let's set some keyframes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these keyframes and paste them there. And I'm also going to do the same thing here. And then I'm going to have the first keyframe overshoot it a little bit. So it's gonna come down. And then I'm gonna have the second keyframe go past it a little bit, and then we will settle here. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna give it a little bounce effect. Doop. Pretty cool, pretty simplistic. And now when I have my lower third, this comes in, it bounces in. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to the end of our 10 seconds. And we're gonna count backwards from there. One, two, three, four, five one, two, three on a delay, and then one, two, three, four, five again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my position keyframes down here, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. This is gonna suck back up into that layer, as so. We're gonna do our layer trim again, so option right bracket to trim from this way going forward, and the other left bracket is that way. We're gonna give it a three frame delay, and then we are going to have this animate back out exactly like how it came in. So now, if we watch this through from the beginning, animates in, comes down, Nadia and Sands, it'll be up on screen for 10 seconds. We're gonna wait until it gets there so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, and it's going to animate away. Another thing I like to do is I like to select all my layers, and if you hit this little, if you hover over this, it'll say motion blur. So I'm gonna turn the motion blur on for all my layers, and then I'm also gonna turn my motion blur on for my composition. So now if you see when this actually animates in, you see some motion blur. So it looks like it's going really fast. If I turn this off, it just animates in very like rough and jagged. But if I turn on motion blur, it actually looks like it's giving it some motion, so it looks like it's coming in pretty fast. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. A really simple, really short tutorial on how to create and animate your own lower thirds. Definitely try different shapes. Try animating with circles. Try animating with triangles. Try making the layers different colors. Try having them animate in differently. It's literally infinite possibilities on what you guys want to do for your lower thirds. I hope that this was helpful if you guys were trying to create lower thirds. I know a few of you asked me for this tutorial, so for those of you that did, I just did it. As always, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with all the videos that I'll be doing and follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Naughty and Sands. I'm on all three. Make sure you go and follow me. Until next time, I'm Naughty and Sands. This is Learn How to Edit Stuff, and you just learn how to create and animate your own lower thirds. Until you subscribe, I'm gonna vape.
Oh, God. Feeling lightheaded. 